For several years, I've relied on the Apple Magic Keyboard, and it has been a really terrific keyboard. It's very thin, very lightweight, easy to throw in my bag to take with me wherever I need to go. But one of the biggest pain points for me is that I now have several devices. I have a couple different laptops I use that I like to switch between my iPad. Um, there's times when I may need to switch between my MacBook and a Windows laptop. It just becomes really, really difficult. And I ended up having to buy several different keyboards so that I wasn't constantly having to pair them to the different devices. Well, that's when I came across the Logitech MX Keys keyboard, which has been really fantastic. It's not as portable as the Apple Magic Keyboard. It's a lot heavier, bulkier, not something I'd want to tote around in my backpack. But one of the biggest advantages of this keyboard is that you're able to connect to three different devices via Bluetooth and you could just switch between them really easily and I only need one keyboard for the three different devices. The other thing that I've really liked about this keyboard is that the keys are fairly similar in shape and size to the Apple keyboard. It is a little bit different in that there are the recesses on the top of the keys, which that doesn't bother me at all. Overall, it's been a great experience. Now, I like using the 10 keys when it comes to number inputs, but I just find that having such a long keyboard really takes up a lot of space and makes it kind of cramped for me when I'm using the mouse. And also it shifts the keyboard over. So instead of typing straight in front of me, like when I'm using the Apple Magic keyboard, the keyboard ends up being a little bit offset unless I really want to be you know, reaching out to the side really far whenever I have to use the mouse. What I really wanted at the time was a MX Keys, but without that 10 key. So I was very excited when Logitech announced the MX Keys Mini and I went out and picked one up. Now there are definitely some things that are different between the MX Keys Mini and the regular MX Keys. One of the first things that I noticed is that the key layout is a lot closer to that of my MacBook Pro. The arrow keys, are positioned and have a similar shape and size to that on my MacBook Pro. And also on the bottom left, there are four keys like on the laptop compared to three on the MX Keys keyboard. But there is a problem with that and that's that the function key and the control key are switched. Now I could have gotten these keys in the right position if I had gone with the Keys Mini that is made specifically for a Mac and it has the white silver look similar to the Apple keyboard but I didn't want to get the white keyboard. The other thing they've done is a dual labeling of the option and command keys, which aesthetically isn't the greatest in my opinion, but it's a small sacrifice to get this smaller form factor in a black color. Once connected to your three different devices, it's really easy to switch between them. You'll use the keys that are in the F1, F2, and F3 position to map to those different devices. And you just have to select whichever one you want and hold the button for three seconds, and then you'll connect to that other device. I do like that they have kept brightness buttons as well as volume buttons on this keyboard. And they've added a couple extra bonus ones to make things a little bit easier. You get an emoji button and the ability to mute your microphone if you're on meetings. If you're looking for an experience close to the Apple keyboard with the flexibility to connect to multiple devices, it is going to be really hard to beat the MX Keys Mini. And if you're learning to code, you should check out this video up here to see how well the M1 MacBook Air works for programming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Lates.